Yo, what is freaking up, gamers? Check this thing out. It's the Beast of Prophecy Curse Up. Is that him comes from Community Remix and is entirely sick. It's like Horror Babylon, but so much better, which is why also we got Eve on the team because I don't really even play this character too much. So, hey, a good excuse to do it. Now, Horror Babylon gives you a bunch of damage and speed whenever you're at half a heart. With Eve, it procs actually at one heart, so you can use uh, the Razor Blade that you can unlock as a starting item from her from Greedier Mode just to activate it right away. But the Beast of Prophecy works like normal Horror Babylon, uh, just like all the other characters, and it only procs with specifically half a red heart. I don't know if Soul hearts also negate this we're gonna have to do some testing later uh, i'm at the shop and i don't have anything to buy <laughs> i really wasn't expecting this but goodbye sir okay actually i want to fight ragman what's up dude you're my favorite dude ever you want to go out uh bowling darts or something bowling darts <laughs> <laughs> hey, it shows you how much I go outside. <laughs> Should I just take a hit right now just to show you guys what the Beast of Prophecy can do? Sure, why not? We get a second curse, major damage up, major speed up, but this time we also get triple shot. So this, combined with all the other stuff we got with Horror Babylon, will make for a massive amount of DPS up. So this is what we're going to work with. We're going to play some Eve, run the Beast of Prophecy. Basically, we're going to have this thing on Perma as a little bit of a challenge. Birdcage is okay. It's also very uh, thematic considering I am Eve and that is a tainted Eve unlock I think maybe regular Eve and we're gonna try and complete the whole game with this low amount of beast prophecy HP that we do have uh troll bombs sure try not to die moment nothing oh I got a scent cool I've never really seen an item that gives you triple shot just like keeper and honestly whenever I get triple shot I'm so used to my tier rate going significantly down and while my tier rate did go down it's not as bad as like afterbirth plus keeper so I'm half hit did I just take the supper just just to take the supper. I mean, more HP to give away to the devil. Sure, I'll just, you know, get rid of it and stay in the uh, Beast of Prophecy mode, except I lost it, so hold on. I don't have any fires left over here. Secret room? Okay, and then a fire. Oh, hello. I cannot mess with you. So sorry, Vine Boom, but that's just not happening. Uh, let's activate Horror Babylon and then Beast of Prophecy. Very weird that there's two curse items now, but very cool as well. 10 base damage. Oh, just kidding, it went down because of Razor Blade, but nine base damage. <laughs> so does does this count? I know I'm gonna waste a bomb for this, but you know, money either way. Boom, and then do I keep it? I do. So it works just like Horror Babylon. So uh, with that being the case, let's go down and completely demolish all our enemies, I think. I do also love the fact that the item is called the Beast of Prophecy, and when you have it proc'd, you look like the beast with the three eyes. It also looks like the birdcage is completely perfectly nuzzled within my uh, horns, so that's probably the best thing that I've ever experienced in Isaac. Also, the sprite for it itself looks really cool. It looks like the mark, where it has the uh, the 666 lay motif. Lay motif, probably not the correct word there, but you know what I'm talking about. It looks like three sixes strung together, but it, it looks just cooler. <laughs> It's as if the Mark just got a significant upgrade. Like if Isaac 2 were to ever come out and the Mark made its grand comeback, I imagine that is what it would look like. Now I did defeat Lust and I did get a Tears Down pill from them. So we note that that's in the rotation. Hopefully they can find a Tears Up pill to make up for it. But even then, I, I feel fine with this tier rate. This is what I expected this to feel like. Like this kind of tier rate right here, that's what Triple Shot usually feels like. The fact that I even had a Tears Up to work with uh, is honorable and very, very good. This treasure room could be nice themselves don't want more hp to work with d8 roll my stats holy mother of the god d8 roll oh my goodness that was the one i got a tears up past the tears up i used to have even more damage and a bit of range to tack onto it as well so that's really good i can take all this stuff and then i'm just gonna proc this also is the beast of prophecy flight <laughs> i can't believe i didn't think of this but i realize i have flight shop in here deep pockets probably want to take that and i don't know what that card is fanny pack is Oh, maybe better. <laughs> maybe, dude. Considering the fact that I want to get hit as much as possible, uh, that might be the play. And you know what? For this specific situation, I'm going to be a smart Binding of Isaac gamer. And we are going to buy it first. So give me this one cent and let's do that. Reason being is that if we are smart, we can take advantage of the rainbow poop that we just got fully healed and maybe get some fanny pack procs here. Maybe? No, that's okay. But that's also fine because we've got Queen of Hearts, so I expect to just be the richest man alive. The only thing that matters now is can I hope that uh, this blood bank does not die and explode immediately. Looking good so far. I think we lock it in. Okay, we're good. We can buy both deep pockets and we also got the fanny pack with it. 
and we're just getting a bunch of money in general. Order of Operations wins again in the Binding of Isaac, and we also get a Blood Bag. Nice. Now, again, I'm gonna permanently be in beast mode, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. In fact, I got so many pickups that I'm willing to just do it again. Like, this is actually really, really effective. How much damage would I get? I got 30? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy, you see how big my tears are? These are bigger than Polyphemus tears, man. Might as well just go down to no red hearts at that point. 33 base damage. That's incredible. Unfortunately, that has to disappear. Goodbye. Minus 20 damage has probably been the worst thing I've ever seen in the Binding of Isaac, but there's also nothing I can do about it. So, you know, whatever. I actually really like the idea of this uh, use the razor blade the moment you walk in the room type deal. Because look at this. I'll also get value out of Birdcage doing mega massive burst damage do not underestimate that guy he really comes in clutch sometimes especially if you can force him to do what he needs to do which is what we just did a speed up is necessary and the devil room has blood oath which is also something that would work for this build no i, I believe so i i feel like i have the perfect build actually nothing could go wrong here this is actually perfect do not forget the deep pockets i should have taken that earlier but whatever uh soul heart for safety i'm curious worship isn't this the thing that uh spawns something spawn an item in the current pool or uh, take a chance of damage okay yeah yeah the thing about the worship card is that it says it does two hearts of damage and i have two hearts of damage it's two different instances it's solo and red hearts but i'm not taking that risk guys absolutely no thank you i'll uh wait till i get you know more soul hearts or something just in case i get the bad roll the last thing i want to know is that i died by pressing q for no reason i mean that is the thing we are constantaneously at low hp with this type of build and I keep getting some form of mega pickup from the poop, so uh, never mind. Everything is good in the world. I suffer absolutely no punishment. Hello, shop? Oh, blind. I didn't register that in my mind. Give me the soul heart. Okay, well, um, do I go planetariums? That might be better. I I'm gonna go planetariums here. Usually I'd be like, nah, it's fine. I just want to go small rock moment. But this early on, I would say the cutoff for going for planetariums is Dross 2. If you want to make that decision, sure, go ahead. But if you're on like Caves 2 or Mines 1, and you're like, ah, yeah, I'm going to skip that treasure room for a planetarium, I say that's kind of a throw. Not specifically, I just feel like uh, it doesn't pay out as much as I really want it to. That is so crazy to see like plus 20 damage when I spam my razor blade. Super secret room, that's super obvious. What is that on the ground? Is that a napkin? That is so gross. <laughs> That's gotta be like tissue paper, right? Because I'm on Dross and this is the, the poop level. You can't even make fun of me for saying that. You know that this is the poop level. I was about to make fun of myself because I was thinking this is the super secret room, but this literally could not have been it. But I got a lucky ass crawl space and I did find the super secret room. It's an item, calling it right now, mutant spider. Money equals power? That is actually a Mongo rare crawl space. What the hello? And three cents and three black hearts. I'll hit the worship. I got the item and it's blue waffle tears up accuracy down never seen this item before but uh, i i think it's pretty self-explanatory what it's doing and it seems pretty fun so you know community remix going hard curse room in here i know i haven't fought the boss just yet but i don't think there's much of a rush i still need to blow up a keeper honestly is that it i think that's it 15 base damage from the money equals power play secret room Hey, nice freebie. And then, hey, free uh, keeper kill. Nice, and a nickel. Hey man, if things wanna work out for me in the perfect scenario, things wanna work out. I won't complain. Some days, the Binding of Isaac just agrees with you, man. The tears up is so insane. Oh my lord. Was that a double tears up? I mean, definitely the accuracy is terrible, but you just gotta get up close to enemies. It feels like the tears up that I did get was significant, and I think that might be true, considering I just got another tears up, and that actually did nothing for me. Let's go mines, because this is supposed to be challenging. And I'm not just gonna go to the caves, just because. We're gonna stay at low HP, soul hearts only. Hopefully we can get rid of these hearts while we explore this area. Planetarium chance locked in. I actually, like, shat myself just now. <laughs> That cannot just be me though. Who else out there has like gotten Blood Oath early on in the run and then the next time you went down to a floor it procced and you actually thought you died immediately? How to have an anxiety attack in the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Every time without fail for me with Blood Oaf, I just forget it exists because there's no visual cue. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just struggle to remember it's here, but it's really good for us. And the nightlight will cure the curse of darkness, so I really want this. Pill moment? Good. Power pill? That's okay. I'll just blow up the keeper. Oh, 
Yeah, sure, that's great. We had a treasure room over here. Is it kind of gamer as hell? Eh, I mean, Leech is pretty gamer. But the blind is, uh, well, it's really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not really thematic. I feel like I'd get more value out of Razor Blade procs, especially with the fanny pack that we got, thanks to the big tinted rock. It feels like it flows better. I genuinely think the D20 is a better item in that scenario, but I just prefer Razor Blade chest chest hey here we go oh my god this is wonderful this is actually perfect let's get rid of all our red hearts i was going to make a comment that when i go to the next floor i should have four red hearts so that blood oath can take advantage but no longer will i be doing that contract from below conjoin progress azazel's rage is okay but it's kind of a boring item in my opinion so i don't really want it it doesn't do much it's just you know you clear some rooms and then every now and then you get a free room to do and it's not even fun to do it's just like yep you mega blast them <laughs> so i will not be taking it's a great item but it's just not for me right now amnesia and horfill Horf. Vault up here. More dudes to blow up. So much murder. And so ah! worth it on all accounts. Holy. Sometimes you really do just got a Mongo lucky run. Head of the Keeper is not just massive for the fact that we get money. But the money is mega massive because we have money equals power. And so far the Beast of Prophecy seems to be one of my favorite items so far from Community Remix. Because everything is just going swimmingly when I'm using this thing. Occult. This is new. Rerolls all pedestal items in the room into devil deals. What? That's crazy. Crazy! <laughs> oh my god! Is this two of these? Oh, Ultra Pride Fight. Maybe I get Eternal D6. That's not happening. Uh, that kind of sucks because I, I killed him too fast. I have bad accuracy. I'm sorry. My CSGO aim is a little bit rusty. I've never really been good at CS. It's always been a game I've struggled with. I peaked like Silver Elite, despite being good at other games like Overwatch in terms of FPS, but that game requires no aim whatsoever, so that's not a good comparison. <laughs> uh, we have two Occult cards. I guess I'll take one of them to the boss. Just see what it rolls into because that just seems like a cool mechanic. And then we'll take the other one with us. Uh, if it rolls into Devil D, I imagine it's gonna take three soul hearts to take, so it's gotta be juicy if I want this thing. Hello, Hornful. I'ma be real, Hornful, you're a bit of a handful, but you're done for. Goodbye, sir, and give me your extra pickup. We got HP! I, uh, I already went in the devil room for this floor because I TP'd. Let's just roll this. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> That's like really- I'm doing it. I, I did go in here. Yeah, I did. I did. Yoinky sploinky this card and let's go. Always got time for a Binding of Isaac run with low HP and high damage. Now sitting at one and a half hearts. So it's even scarier actually pick this up because it gives you a key on pickup. Thank you. Do I actually want the Gilded Key? Uh, you know what? I do actually. Gimme, give gimme. Give but one and a half hearts is enough to make this work. We have two guaranteed hits. Whether or not it's a champion. So that's really exciting for us. I'm sure that'll get us to where we need to go. It's always kind of scary when you're at one full red heart. Ooh, nice damage up. Because sometimes, even when you're not on womb, you get hit by a champion, you just unexpectedly die. I've seen so many people die like that. We did get a tears up. And uh, it looks like things are just perfect. <laughs> no complaints. Holy moly. Give me the solo polyon. Gilded Key has never seen more value than it has today what <laughs> okay I, I don't know anymore i actually do not understand i mean do i even want to partake in this oh i don't have a uh, the beast available one sec how long will three golden pennies take okay let's lock in Jesus, gaming moment. 74 cents with the plus six damage up. Everything is going swimmingly. Gonna blow you up and then walk in the sack room. I will take a half a heart just because it's not gonna affect me whatsoever. And let's just move on. Wow, this is such good damage. And we are constantly getting damage from the money equals power. Deep pockets, perfect synergy. We also get access to the boss challenge room here. Health up, I'll take. I don't know what this pill is. Don't be TP, thank you. Blow up all the mushrooms because I have excess in bombs. And you can never predict, you can never know. I'll take the eye drops as well. I still have this occult card where I'm not really too sure where I was supposed to use it. Probably the treasure room at this point, especially because I know that's going to have two items. And if I use the occult card, would that make them both devil deals? Even the blind item, I would know if it's good or not because I could see the, the deal hearts, you know, like how much it costs. Or you can give me a per throw. <laughs> okay, here's what we'll do. Go in here, daddy long legs. Every other time I would take this, but I'm curious. Okay, we know these suck. <laughs> We know these are terrible, but I'm, I, I want to know. Never mind, it's really good. I'll take the Pertho, we can take that to the next devil deal. Or even a secret room if I feel like it and I find it. 
shop in here. It's a coupon. I, uh, we don't need that. I don't think so. Don't know what this pill is, though. Bombs are key. That kind of sucks. I was really enjoying the amount of keys I had with Gilded Key. But we can always just find another one of those, so whatever. Yeah, honestly, so far, the Beast of Prophecy. By the way, I've never heard a cooler Binding of Isaac item name. That is endgame stuff right there. Like, talk about the mega item. The Beast of Prophecy. Are you kidding me? That thing sounds so cool. Yeah, the Beast of Prophecy seems uh, to be one of the best items ever. Because once you have this item, everything just kind of works out for you. Now, non-knowledgeable Binding of Isaac gamer out there would have said, uh, skill issue. You should have used the razor blade in the boss fight, so you got more damage. Truly astute gamers out there will know that I used it outside so I would have less damage while walking in here so that I could hit more shots so that I could get more money. I'd love to roll these, but there's just no way I'd be able to afford it, and I don't want a brimstone to show up for me just to not take it. That would be heart-wrenching. I actually don't have enough to go into the curse room, or mausoleum, sorry, so we're gonna go down. Dag Depths 2, Curse of darkness except it's not because i got a nightlight actually incredible that nightlight has prevented two curses so far usually i feel like it only affects the first curse immediate treasure room as well hello dumperton been a while buddy how you doing goaded item as always ever since his buffs everyone needs to know just how much of a dude this guy is what an absolute bro another shop a little bit of a weird layout and we got a poke go and a spider mod man those are kind of expensive for really mid uh well spider mods okay I, I like the health bars. Do I take the Poke Go though, dude? Uh, yeah, sure. It's not even that bad of a damage down. It was like 0.70. But Jesus, man, I'm getting milked out here. <laughs> Do I want that uh, blind? Uh, I guess I'll just reveal it so that the next trinket is not that. I know I would get a key back, so it was worth. That's always the thing with Guppy's eye. It's so weird. I believe the way that trinkets spawn is that they're seeded. Like, they show up in an order of the seed. So sometimes you'll come across a chest that has a trinket, and you won't open that chest, and you go and spawn another chest, <laughs> and that other chest has the exact same trinket. That's because you gotta reveal it. It's the same kind of rules as passive items. You gotta see it with your eyes. And only then will Binding of Isaac despawn the item. I think there's some other things that work with that mechanic as well like i learned recently that the fortune cookie the the fortunes that they give you are actually completely seated i surprisingly do not have two keys available for the vault i'm hoping maybe i just get a random drop here no there's more money and a bob bob maybe for super secret room but if that doesn't pan out then uh we will not be accessing that area unfortunately super secret no but definitely here Okay, that means that it's either right here, like above me, or to my right, or it's some random ass place on the map. So it's gotta be here, or it's gotta be here, otherwise it's gonna be hard to find. Okay, there we go. And we got keys. Oh, nice, dude, squid, game squid moment. This trick is awesome. Taking damage spawns a large pile of black slowing creep. Not gonna take it, but there's lore behind that trinket and you should know about it. Game Squid is the, uh, I guess the icon? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It's the, it's the, the icon for Florian. The dude that helped make, uh, Flash Isaac, you know? He's actually got a YouTube channel that I went to recently. He's got some good videos there. I highly recommend if you're interested in how, like, Flash Isaac came to be. The coding behind it and such. Definitely check out Florian's channel, guys. I wanna go up because, uh, I've been feeling devilish the entire time. And maybe I wanna abstain from that. Maybe I'm a changed man. Or maybe I'll enter the utero. <laughs> Oh man, another crawl space? I didn't even see that. I was highly focused on the gurgling to my left. What was down here? Uh, uh, hi. Um, listen. This is, this is just business, sorry. Dude, that is such a high deal chance. Something about specifically the 67.5% deal chance turning into an 85% deal chance when you blow up a regular beggar. I know this is specific, but just, just put yourself in my shoes. You have a 67% chance. You blow them up, you get 85% chance. You see that green statistic. Is that not an incredible feeling? <laughs> Some of you have to understand what I'm talking about. It can't just be me. We do have our boss fight right here. I'm gonna look for super secret room though. Wait, this is kind of a weird one to find. Wait, I could just go to fight Hush. That, that's better, that's better. I absolutely- There's no way I'm hitting Hush. <laughs> Bro, thought he was on Womb too. What a bozo. What's in here? Uh, Perthro? Uh, Satanic? 
Most definitely. In fact, we can take uh, Mob the Void and then just use the Satanic to save ourselves. And then we can uh, make sure that we don't die by taking that Soul Heart. Yeah, that's really good. I don't even have to worry about filling up my Red Heart anymore and getting rid of it. Because we got rid of it. I got 30 seconds to pick the wrong direction. Alright, well... I might as well just move forward. I would prefer a hush fight over anything here, but I don't know if it's going to be likely or even possible. So we'll just move forward, see if it is. Make our guess 10 seconds. No way, dude. That's not happening yet. We got a vault instead. We all know I cannot navigate the womb, but we left all that coinage behind. So I'm still happy about this because this is still going to be some form of damage. Instead of an item at the hush fight, we just get pure statistics. That's okay. Number magnet here. I like this. We have gone full devil deals. Let me run perfection for the rest of the floor. And then when we fight, oh, hey, what's up, cousin? And then once we fight the boss, I'll bring uh, the number magnet into that area. So in case I do get to have that nice juicy devil deal, it'll have a special effect on it. When 26 base damage. Excuse me. I mean, you just gotta chalk that up to the Beast of Prophecy being such an absurd item. With it being a multiplier for your damage, it's just doing way too much. This is actually the guy she tells you not to worry about for specifically Aura Babylon. This item is absurd. <laughs> Hello, it lives, and goodbye. I'm not even gonna focus the eyes. I got too much damage to worry about that. Do I risk the coin, guys? <laughs> This, this is what I live for. These are the types of gambles. I'm just kidding. It's not going to proc. World's largest brimstone fly. Okay, here's what I say. If there's ever an off 0.7% chance that a, a, a boom brimstone fly has the big champion variant, in the very rare odd case that this happens, there should be a specific interaction where it blows up and it shoots like mega blasts in all directions. Would that not be sick? Rotten Padlock, unlocking any chest or door spawns for blue fives. I did not do the uh, number magnet thing I said I was going to do. Whatever, I didn't want to forget perfection. There were two outcomes once I said that sentence. It was either one, I go back for the number magnet and I forget perfection. <laughs> or I forget the number magnet and I bring perfection. I'd rather have perfection. Oh, hello. That was random. I might get Guppy. That sounds sick. Absolutely. Yeah, lock this in and lock this in as well. I got Leviathan for some HP back. Some flight does not matter. We already had it, but very appreciated. And we're also clearing out the devil pool, meaning this dark room is going to go hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I made a mistake or something, but did I not take the Polaroid? Why did I gaslight myself subconsciously into thinking that I needed to go down? I think it was that coin, man. That coin made me feel like I was gambling something, but really I was gambling my own life. That's okay. Check this out. That's right. I I'm evil now. <laughs> oh, wow. Red key? What? Red key? Okay, yeah, definitely. Where could this thing be? Uh, this would be a good guess. Relatively. Okay, definitely not here. This is a pretty good spot to check, I think. Oh, not here either. Okay. Oh, wait, it's here. Oh my god. I mean, that makes sense. It's connected to two red rooms, but this one was kind of hard to find. Luckily, I guessed it and I oh, never mind. Goodbye, the Satan. And also, goodbye, Satan's really thick legs. <laughs> Whoa, Delirium, I almost ran into you. No, thank you, man. We all knew that I was devious from the very beginning. I should have taken the negative. We all understand this. Uh, conjoined progress, sure. And fear matter shot, I guess. For some damage, but the rest of these are whatever. I'm gonna take both of these because it's gonna put me low HP. It's gonna be fun like this. I could also try and guess the red key ultra secret room. It's gonna be hard to find on dark room. The bigger the map, the harder it is to find your ultra secrets, but it's not impossible. I just gotta put in some work. I bet you it's right there for absolutely no reason. Also, I'm almost dead. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, I messed up. Guys, listen. It was Guppy, okay? But now I do not have the Beast of Prophecy proc. This is probably the worst timeline. I need a way to get rid of this heart. There's no way I could. Not that I would see. I don't got the razor blade anymore. I don't got the satanic Bible anymore. I've abandoned everyone. And now I face the consequences of my own actions. Luckily, I have a red key, so eh, you know. Obviously, Guppy is more powerful than the Beast of Prophecy, but I genuinely made a mistake and did not realize that it would not proc anymore. If I find an opportunity to get rid of this red heart, I will, but I'm not gonna stress about it. We went through like 40 minutes of gameplay with this thing. It was just nice and exciting to see all the community remix stuff, honestly. Go in here. Ultra! Hello! Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart. What? It's just a dude that's kind of scared to see me. It's okay, man. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. I think the most impressive thing we had today was the amount of cash we got. 307? With a money equals power to go with it. Like, I've never seen such 
lucky amounts of cash, like, falling to the ground. I can't eat- wait, I'm stupid. I could've just done this. Oh, we're good! Hey, we ended it off! Look at that! We did end off with the Beast of Prophecy. Do not die, because you'll get a red heart, and then it will ruin everything. But I won't. That's okay. You know why? Because we full cleared everything. Dude, what a absolutely wondrous run. Absolutely fantastical. A true show of dominance, and to really show how much damage I have, check this out. Goodbye. Wow. Uh, honestly, Beast of Prophecy is crazy, and Community Remix goes so hard. I love you guys, I hope you had a good one, and uh, GG's!